Hello, this is your boy, Bill Eshkababa, and I'm here with another MTG video. And today I'm talking about the MTG Finance. So ever, th ever since what happened to me uh, with Reddit and my store owner, and the amount of outpouring of support that I got from the Reddit people, and the amount of information I got, I've been fascinated with the with this whole cards worth a lot of money, cards going up, cards going down, and I've been just reading a lot of information. So one of the websites, one of the biggest websites that everyone told me to get on was something called MTG Goldfish. And I've been looking up this website. I'm not sponsored by this website. You know, I'm just a small dude just uh, checking up on stuff. But it's very interesting to read up on the website and actually get informed of the prices of cards before you do a trade, before you decide to trade anything in, trade anything out. And one of the best things that I think they have, now I'm not sure how the community feels about MTG uh, Goldfish, if they're trustworthy, if you guys know of a better website or a website that's uh, more reliable, please tell me down in the comment sections. I just want to learn. I just want to get as much information possible because I don't want to be scammed and I want to help also the play group I play with because we're all noobs. We're all um, learning the game. We're all just started out. We started in Kaladesh and we would have been conned massively by our store owner because uh, we would have traded in our cards for booster packs and we thought that was actually a good deal. So if anyone wants to give me more information, more websites, Thank you very much because this is what I want. I want to learn. But one of the best things that I think about MTG Goldfish has is they have these on the front page. They have these hashtag trending winners and hashtag trending losers. And it's interesting that they actually have the five cards that are going up and you can actually see more and the five cards that are going down, which is very interesting. So I was doing a little bit of research on it and the five that are going up uh, the Scarab Gob is now at number one, going up. It's gone up 22%, which is a lot. And the Scarab God uh, is an interesting card. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's from the latest set, not, not Ixalon, but the one before it. Uh, it's a god, uh, as the name in implies. Uh, and it's interesting to see it go up. Uh, it's going up by a lot. Number two is Dark Depth. Now Dark Depth is actually interesting to me um, because if I'm not mistaken this card actually came in a box that I actually bought last year which was the um, From the Vault Law. Uh, I'm pretty sure that it is the same card that has uh, appeared here and this is not the From the Vault law, so pro not the From the Vault one. So I guess From the Vault has less relevance. I guess people don't like it, even though it's foil. Not sure about what's going on there. If anyone has any information on that, please tell me. Uh, Liliana of the Veil vale is up. Now, that's interesting because she did get a reprint in Modern Masters at the beginning of the year. But I guess it kind of... Suppressed her price, but I guess now that fewer people are opening boxes and booster packs, uh, and booster packs, she's going back up. And then we have uh, Guido's Vengeance, which is a card that I'm not particularly familiar with, but has been going up. And number five is my favorite card, it is Chandra Torch of Defiance, is going up uh, because she's a fantastic card. Uh, from the trending losers. We have Horizon Canopy. Now, these are being hit mostly due to their inclusion in Iconic Masters. So, Iconic Masters is coming down the pike, and it's going to hit all these cards, but it's probably just going to hit them, and then they're probably going to do like Liliana of the Veil. Vale. Get hit, go down, and then in a couple of months, start to trend back up. So, Horizon Canopy is going down. Goyf isn't being hit. Now, that's interesting, because Goyf hasn't gone isn't being reprinted in Iconic Masters, but was reprinted, I think, in uh, Modern Masters 2017. Also last year, I think someone told me it was reprinted. So I think Goyf, Tomogoyf has been reprinted a couple of times. Ancestral Visions 
is going down as well. Now that's also in Iconic Masters. So all these cards are being hit due to the um, Iconic Masters reprint. So it does show that reprints do hurt the price of cards. They do go down, judging from the trend that I'm looking at. But if you look at, let's say, Liliana Vale, she's back up. She's the third going up most according to MTG Goldfish. And she was just reprinted this year. So I guess the moral of the story is cards get reprinted. They go down in price, but then they slowly trend back up. I guess that's kind of the uh, moral of the story. But I'm finding this highly, highly fascinating to actually get in here and actually look at card prices and actually look at what's going on. I'm extremely new to Magic the Gathering. I've only started playing since Kaladesh. It's been basically a year. I'm very casual, so I can make a hundred mistakes in a video. If I made any mistakes here, please, you can tell me down in the comment section. You can tell me how wrong I am, and I will 100% guarantee with that. If you know of any other websites, any better websites than MTG Goldfish, also please tell me. And uh, this is just a whole new world to me, and it's very interesting and it's almost like playing like a stock market kind of thing how the cards go down and then come back up but i'm hoping to have more mtg videos on my youtube channel and i'm hoping that people are interested in it and people can just help me out and we can maybe work together to broaden the understanding of not just me but also my play group and try and try and get people in the store that i go to uh, more aware so they can't be scammed by the store owner uh, and that's pretty much it so please don't forget to comment rate and subscribe give me information down in the comment sections Billish Kavava out